Okay, my friends, Roger once again, Mud Fossil University. Now, I'm going to be brief. I've gone over this many, 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 many times now. Well, what that means is that there's something wrong with the standard model. That's it. We found the crack, finally, in our understanding of particle physics. There's absolutely no way that we can explain this observation with our current understanding. In fact, the only way we think we can explain what's going on is if there are new particles in the universe associated with new physics processes beyond those that we understand, and that these new particles are interfering with the B mesons as they decay and suppressing the decay to muons compared to electrons. All right. I understand electrons. They do not. Electrons flood the nucleus. All right. It's electron flooded nucleus. There is nothing but electrons. So they think that there's new bigger chunks of this or that laying around that they never could find before, but no. They are just finding different chunks of, of attached electron masses. That's all it is. Now, this is a helium, and again, I've gone over it many, many times, and only the, the, posit only the negative portion of the dipole electron, because it is a dipole, it has a positive and a negative, but only the negative is explosive and has push to it. The positive is the black part, it has no nothing, it just carries the uh, negative part until they collide, and then you get your explosiveness. Now, I can explain everything in the periodic chart. Isotopes, nuclear radiation, and let's start with how molecules are for, or atoms actually are formed. Okay, I'm going to tell you exactly what they say in current physics, is that the elementary particles make up matter are leptons and quarks, which are the explosive parts, they're fermions, they explode. The elementary bosons are force carriers that function as the glue, and they just hold things together, holding matter together. Well, I can show you that glue. Okay, once again, shown this a zillion times. This is red pulse laser. When it gets accelerated through a venturi, which Rod Warren designed, it accelerates the the particle, which is actually the particle, which is the photon, and then it concusses and only the fermion portion explodes. The other portion does not explode. And the other portion is this portion. You see there's a red, uh, I mean a white and a black looking part. Well, that's what a photon is. And as it goes through the air, all the other particles in the air also have charges on them. So as the positive, I mean the negative explosive part hits, it, it causes the thing to spin. And that's what causes particles to spin. And as I showed you, they can accelerate. As you can see right here, it's accelerated. And then it's coming back to slow down a little bit. It's spinning to the right, drifting to the left. And that's this particle, boom, 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 spinning through the air. Now, now let's see the boson separate from the fermion, and there it is. Here's the particle coming through. When it concusses in such extremeness, there's our bosons walking away from the fermions. Identical, exact, exactly what they're looking for from the top physicists. Now, I've been showing this for years, and they finally admitted it a few months back. They admit it everywhere now, and I think they're admitting it because of this. I've been showing it forever, and there's no way they can walk away from this and deny this research. There it is right here. A new boson breaks the standard model, and this was back in, um, was about six months ago. Now, um, and they show that it's, uh, it's been a smoking gun for a long time, since 2016. Uh, they've known that this is not correct, but nobody's been able to really show it until Rod Warren and I showed it with electron flood theory. I mean, that's just the way it works. If, if they can explain their better explanation of what we showed, I'd like to see it. Because I, all I saw is, um, well, a newfound boson. Let's see what they have to say. 
This is a newfound boson. We observed electron-positron pairs, and they talk about it, but I don't see anything that that shows what Rod Warren and I are showing. Maybe I'm missing something. Okay, my friends, this is very, very difficult to convey because I am literally one of the only people on the face of the planet that understands what the nuclear and the nucleus is devised of, and it is 100% electrons. All right? And I could literally prove this now. And every statement they make shows that. First of all, we know the bosons, they found these new forces that they can't understand, which is a boson, which is this weak force that simply carries that strong force, which I showed exploding. And, and they, the, these are the fundamental particles that they have been looking for. Now, I have suspected this for 50 years. Now, I'm going to show you this, and it is designed to impress you. Because people like to be impressed. They like to think that the person they're listening to knows what they're talking about. And I'm going to tell you right now, I do know what I'm talking about. This is the periodic chart, which I understand quite well. 50 years ago, I did this. This was a part of my general chemistry. But I'm, when I do something in general, I don't do it in general. I do it as deep as you possibly can. And I did. And I went into everything so deep that I discovered that there had to be some form of a dipole in the core. It wasn't just a positive and then there was ne little negative particles. No, absolutely not. Anyway, it goes on. Oops. Focus right. It goes on, on, on. All right, so I did all this. All right, I'm impress you. All right, I did all this stuff, and then we get into chemistry, and then I wanted to prove every single thing that they were talking about. The Pauli principle, the Hans principle, the uh, all these different assumptions they made. You know, uh, the off-ball principle, poly exclusion principle, how energy transfers are done, and why they move, and and. I would get to a point where nobody could explain what they were seeing, and and I couldn't either with their theory, but I did know that the nucleus had to be constructed of more than just positiveness. All right, so, and, and it goes on and on and on. I mean, it's, it's, I got into this deep, and then, of course, light is obviously, you have to do everything about light, so I did it all, all right? hope you're impressed. And if not, I did the labs too. We tested all the temperatures and heat of reaction, heat of solution, how it transferred into electron movement and flow and electrical energy and all of that stuff. So, maybe you're more impressed now, I don't know. Okay, my friends, you know that electron flood theory says that the entire universe is completely flooded with particles we would call electrons or photons. Now, photons are made of electrons. They're made of box to, a box of electrons, basically four of them, I believe. Now, the list of particles in electron flood theory is electrons. Case closed. Now, electrons are what? They're weak and strong dipoles. It's a black and a white, sp and one of them has explosiveness and one of them has nothing. I think I've already shown all this. Photons are back-to-back -back electrons. Stable electron masses are atoms. They're chunks of, of all of these electrons in resonance stability. Groups of atoms are molecules, bunches of them. Groups of molecules are what we call matter, tables and chairs and things. Photons look just like this, like I showed you. Electron is one of the parts of the photon, and that's at rest. It has no explosiveness. When it's interacting, which is not spelled correct, it con concusses, and you get a whole batch of power on one side and nothing on the other side. All of this has been shown. So, that's electron flood theory, and it, it does everything. There's nothing that I can't explain with electron flood theory. And I can explain all of the particles that are in the periodic chart that nobody could ever explain before.